tonight. From Monday, friends and families can be reunited. The Prime Minister also confirmed that schools will be able to reopen next week. We hear from the parents and pupils preparing for their new look classrooms. Good evening. It's been more than two months since Boris Johnson announced lockdown, meaning millions of people across the capital have been apart from the ones they love. Well, this afternoon, he confirmed that all five tests required for the next phase of lockdown easing have now been met. From Monday, you and five of your friends and family can meet up at the park or at home in your own garden, as long as different households continue to stick to social distancing rules. And as the Prime Minister thanked NHS workers for their heroic efforts over the last few months, he laid out the plans for what else will be coming in the weeks ahead, as our political correspondent Simon Harris reports. Well, this afternoon, the Prime Minister also gave the final all clear for schools to reopen from next Monday. That's initially for pupils in reception, year one and year six. But the dilemma continues for many parents across the capital over whether or not now is the right time for their children to get back to the classroom. Well, Amy Lewis has been speaking to families around London on their plans for the summer term. Well, the decision to go back to school can be just as difficult for children as it can be for parents. Joining me uh, to talk more about the psychological impact of getting back to what will be a very different classroom is Charles. Well, some sporting news now. And Arsenal will return to the pitch for one of the first football matches after the Premier League was given the green light today to return. Obsessive compulsive disorder is a mental health condition that can be distressing and significantly interfere with a person's life. Catherine Nixon has been living with it since she was seven. Over the last few years, she's been able to control her symptoms, but since being in lockdown, she's been struggling. She has fears about contaminating herself and her family and doesn't feel comfortable going outside. Well, she's been speaking to Rachel Brown. Now tonight at eight o'clock, London will unite for the 10th consecutive Thursday to clap for the capital's carers who put their own lives on the line to look after thousands of us who've been struck down with coronavirus. produce the first effective treatment so far for the virus. Katie Barnfield explains. Weather now and it's been a beautifully sunny day in the capital. The good news is it's sticking around. Here's Sally with the weather. And finally, not every boxer is able to turn amateur wins into professional titles, but on their way to proving nothing is impossible, the Hackney's Lawrence Sokoli and Croydon's Joshua Boatsi both were planning to show that four years after Olympic success in Rio, they could take on the world and come away with the belts. Well, the coronavirus has put those ambitions on hold, but has given them time to reflect on their achievements so far, as Antoine Allen reports. And that is it for now. We are back with the latest after ITV News at 10. Coming up, Charlene White with the ITV Evening News. But from me and the rest of the London team, bye-bye. Take care.